No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today, I got a, a very viral man on the couch next to me. It's your fave ex-boyfriend. And uh, I was just wondering, like, is there a shortened version of that? Like, what are your homies called? Yeah? Jacob or Scro or even, um... Yeah, that's it. Jacob or Stro? Scro. Scro. What's Scro come from? Casey Fry. What's that? He did like a skit and was funny as shit back in the day. We got to either move the mic in a little bit closer or you got to talk a little bit louder. <laughs> I'm just super high. You're super high. What did you take? <laughs> do you do pills or is this like a, a No, weed? it's weed, dude. Really good weed. What In what capacity were you smoking it? In what form? At least a lot. You know, grab a... Okay. So you come out to California and you just immediately tap in with all the, the growers? <laughs> How much do you smoke back in Texas? Mm. A little. Not that much. Not that much. Yeah. It's tough to get it out there or what? No. I heard you're from like the middle of nowhere in Texas, true or false? No, it's like around the bend, the coastal bend. Where's it near? The Gulf of Mexico. And like it's Corpus Christi. Okay. And so, all right, tell us a little bit about your uh, upbringing. What was life like as a young man? Standard. You know, standard. I don't know. It was, it was great. It was fun. It sucked. The school sucked. What'd your parents do? <clears throat> you know, stuff. They hit the <laughs> right. <laughs> and it's so. Sh I don't know. Where, where are we going with this? Like, they're, I, I they're still like together. They're still together. Wow. Okay. What yeah. were their professions? Oh, he builds houses and shit. And my mom like runs like the electric company. I'm gonna be real. Do you have any Coke or like a perk or something? Because we got maybe like a Red Bull. I don't know. I want a Red Bull so bad. I can't advise you to do Coke or anything, but we gotta we gotta get something in your system, dude. You're, you might be a little too high for this. Okay. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just splash some water on my face in the men's room. Really? <laughs> okay. Well, you want me to make you a cup of coffee? Oh, f yeah. Is this, this is a real thing? We could do this. Sounds bomb. <laughs> okay. All right, we're back. How was that? Great. What'd you do? You, you splash water on your face? Oh, sh yes. No, I didn't. I just like, you know, in through your nose, out through your mouth. You just had some, some breaths over there? <laughs> Breathing is so important. Breathing is important. I told my manager all the time, you know, you gotta breathe right. You don't have a heart attack. Your manager's supposed to be the one telling you that kind of stuff. He should already know to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my sunglasses. You lost them somehow on this, this trip. They made you this cup of coffee too. It's great. You already had some? No. How would you describe the flavor of this coffee that you rich. apparently haven't drank? <laughs> it was rich. Like me. Mm. Are you rich now? Well, basically, yeah. Right. No, but I don't. I ain't got money. You're planning on getting there. Mm hmm. <laughs> You're just making sure you look all right. No, the stupid um face face ID. Ah. Uh, yeah, the mic is in the way. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, like, uh, what what were you, what was your high school career like? Let's just see what that. Is era was like well i went to high school for a couple of years and then i graduated from like a charter school okay and what was your experience like in school though like who'd you hang out with you know just the homies or whatever um we just listened to metal and skateboarding and what kind of metal slipknot and like that like new metal You'd skateboard? Were you pretty serious with it? No. But yeah. I mean, I could. I learned how to switch tray and shit. And I was getting there, but then I started riding BMX. Really? 
Yeah, for like for like twenty years now, almost. You ride BMX, and I didn't know about it till now. Yes. So you know about me a little bit. Yes. <laughs> okay. What what kind of bike riding were you doing for the most part? Like ledges and some vert. Not really, but I mean, I was getting it. I was getting there. You got footage. I can still go. I learned how to. I did. The, I was the first one in Corpus Christi to do a tail whip ever. Somehow I doubt that. Nah, there was like <laughs> there was like a co- couple other fools. Yeah, isn't Morgan Wade from there or something? I forget exactly where he's from. But there's so many legends in Texas. I'm yeah. sure they've all tail. Aaron, Aaron Ross has done a tail whip in every single inch of Texas. <laughs> no shit. I think he's from there too. Yeah, he is. Yeah. But he'd be tail whipping. Yeah, I could probably still tail whip if I try. If I did practice for like a day. I think that that would be really really good for your clout as a rapper. I've never seen a rapper do a tail whip. I can do a 360 a all day right now. Bring me a bike right I mean, now. That's pretty good too, but a tail whip is kind of a different level. That's nah, all right. It's easy as fuck. Tray flip too. I mean, They're all name easy. a rapper with a good tray flip. Me. They got to be out there. But like Rich the Kid gets, Lil Wayne gets skateboarding points. Didn't he go pro like last <laughs> week? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, it's the homie. No shit. <laughs> you got to support what he's doing, you know? Fucking A. I mean, you can't deny that he's committed. Nope. You um, see, you, he didn't even make music anymore. He'd just be skateboarding. <laughs> Did you see the clip of him, though, uh, in the club watching a skate video on his phone? No. That's I pretty didn't. committed. I've never even done that. I want to be able to hear the fucking music. I don't. It's so loud and ugh. No, I want to be able to hear the music in the skate video. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Beat pods. That's like the whole thing. Yeah, maybe he had headphones on. That's a good point. For sure. So uh, what what kind of music were you listening to throughout high school? Just like all underground, like rap and... And the metal at the same time? Yeah. Interesting. And so, right, how old are you now? 30. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'll be 31 this year. Are you really? Yeah. That's crazy. I guess I could see it. It's a new 18. I was pretend. I was under the impression I was talking to a much younger man. True. <laughs> Pause. And shit, so shit. So, I mean, how did you start making music, or what did you do after you got out of high school? Like, when when did music become part of it? I did. I don't know. I just fucked off for a while, and then around like twenty five, I guess, I started like kind of doing it. What was fucking off? Just like working a normal job and shit. Yeah, bullshitting. Yeah, doing a lot of coke. A lot of coke. And drinking, and I don't drink anymore, really. Why? It just took its toll on you? It's just boring. Yeah. Pretty destructive. What about the Coke? It's whack. You still do it, though? No. Well, I mean, every now and then, but it's just like, no. Not for the most part, no. Yeah, I mean, it feels good, but it's it's a lot to keep it going. It's a fucking anxiety attack is what it is. Yeah. It's you freaking out and thinking that you sound awesome, but you actually sound like a total douchebag. No, I don't I'm just, I'm just like, I'd just be freaking out on that shit. <laughs> that's that's the character of your coke experience is that you were what? Just like locked in the crib freaking out? Paranoid as fuck. That's like, there's two different ways. You could be like a social cokehead or you could be like an insular stay in the crib cokehead. And I've known both throughout my life. Yeah. No. I was like, no. I don't like that shit. I don't like any of it. It's just boring. I like being in the house though. Your homebody? Well, I mean, where else are you going to go? But... We I, outside. That's what the New York rappers no, say. We New outside. York, outside with it as fuck for sure. Yeah. Yeah, like um, riding bikes or whatever. And I'd be, I'd be rollerblading now. Like, you just hella. started rollerblading? Like two years, like a year and a half ago or some shit. What do you be doing on that? On those? Uh, ledges, grinds. Uh, have you, dude? Have you heard the grind names for roll, roller in rollerblading? There's some pretty funny ones, yeah. Dude, it's fucking sick. I remember the wasn't this a Unity grind? Some shit like that, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they got a lot of cool names. I could do that grind. That's cool though that you are embracing rollerblading since it's really kind of fallen out of favor with like the world. Yeah, it's kind of sad. It was huge for a while. It's gonna be the biggest thing again. What do you see leading to that? More indoor skate parks. 
I see indoor skate parks shutting down all the time. It's so lame. <laughs> They're all on the way out. So whack. Like, it's hot as fuck outside. I don't want to go in the fucking right. inside and skate. Or like, Well, in Texas, that's definitely a problem. Out here, too, the skate parks are kind of, you know, in August. Yeah. Or when it's raining outside, mm-hmm. like, and you just want to skate. That's the worst feeling ever. Yeah. Or you just want to ride your bike, but you can't do shit because it's wet. Or in Texas, there's like many months out of the years where it's so hot that it's just almost unrealistic. It's such bullshit. And all you need is like a sick ass air conditioner. Yeah, but think about air conditioning a gigantic fucking warehouse. That's why you like don't that. make them that big. You well, make them they, like they kind of to be big. L- no, they don't. Just yeah. like in every, if they have one in every single, at every single like, you know what I'm saying, little hood or like on the corner of, you know what I'm saying, little ass. But um, the thing is, like, if, it'd be like a corner store or like a gym. If the economics of it made sense, people would already be doing it. It does make sense. No, because in reality, it's like not a great business model to have like twelve year old scooter kids paying you like forty dollars an hour to like like it's just it's kinda unrealistic. That's why you pay forty bucks a month. How much is your gym membership? I don't have one, but they're a couple hundred bucks a month, I would say, on average out here. Boom. But Same shit. The people who go to the gym are like rich adults, not all rich, obviously, but they're grown ups who are investing in their fitness. Whereas it's like for a a, a kid in the gym, uh, in the it's, skate park, you know, it's the just parents like a are paying for it. The hood, like you know, like a little martial arts place. But you could set up a boxing gym in a lot of different spots, and a skate park costs hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars to build. And shit, so shit. <laughs> when did you? Uh, everybody wants to know when did the. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that noise is. Where, where, when did that begin? Dude, before mankind. Well, he, w- he was just telling me that it, he considers it some, like, pre-existing huh. Mexican slang. Well, it's is is this true? We come from light and sound. But he was saying that they might do it to describe somebody who's, you know, fucked up on drugs or something like that. I'm not sure of this. Morons. <laughs> So, did you invent it out of thin air, or did it already exist? Yeah, for sure it existed, for sure. But what does it mean? Yes. Mm. <laughs> or not. When did you first put it in a song, though? That Well, whenever I made the Snapchat. I made, like, a Snapchat, and then a freestyle. It was really a freestyle, but... Me and my cousins have been had been doing it. We had been freestyling like that for like a little bit. And then, you know, I just recorded it one day. Would you say that you like believed in it, that you thought that this was going to be a wave? Yes. We all did. Who's Gold Soul? Like, what's your relationship to him? Oh, that's the homie. Yeah, he's cool as fuck. You guys are just close friends? Or how did you yeah. end up making that song together? Yeah, we're close friends. He he makes music, I make music. Been making music for a while. And then, yeah, I just told him to hop on the song. He came through. Is he doing drugs? I got a lot of face tattoos. I feel like those two things normally kind of go together. Uh, That's not like what, what you're on on a day-to-day basis, though. You're not like hanging out in the drug lair. No, we're trying to have fun. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Stay in the skate park and out of the drug lair. Just yeah. my most. Well, yeah, for sure. Um, so when did it start to go viral? What was that like for you? Well, the Foo Hunters was like, kept telling me to make a video for a while, and. The homie that made the video, Frankie, he was, like, just hella busy making, like, commercials for lawyers and shit. So then, like, whenever he finally got some time, we shot the video in my crib. And then Foo Hunters posted it, and then the Foo's Gone Wild posted it and shit. And then it just kind of went from there? hmm So why do you think the Foo community was so attracted to your stuff from early on? Because I'm funny as shit and cool as fuck. And if, like I was posting f- like foo shit, like so yeah. Describe foo shit. What is posting foo shit? Just like you know the fucking tweaking. You know your Theo's tweaking in the living room, like yelling and shit. Your grandma, you know the vibes. 
I would not have necessarily assumed that the foos would have seen you and been like, ah, he's one of us. Hmm. So that I was kind of surprised that they just adopted you from early on and kind of said, like, we're going to make this dude the next guy that we're going to post about a bunch of times and kind of make him famous. I don't know where exactly that came from. Well, it wasn't about all that. It's, it's the whole cultural shock of it all is, has, has a bigger impact. The food pages, though, make a lot of fucking people famous. They basically, like, invent hood-level celebrities out of thin air by just posting about them. It's pretty crazy. Like that. So it went beyond all that, though. All of a sudden you had... Where, where's the craziest place that you've seen that shit posted? And was it the live performance video that went viral? Or? Um... It so was, that's one I remember. Oh, seeing. the uh, Dorian Green's fucking uh, Curious Characters. That's the one that has like the most views, I guess. Okay. The most views. But what? What? Where's the craziest place you saw it posted? Because I saw a lot of like mainstream rappers posting it and kind of freaking out over it. Uh. Well, I guess like. I don't know. I don't really like care. So I don't really. I mean. The biggest thing is like the Saturday Night Live shit. Oh yeah, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. What was that like? Whatever. Because it's not like they're saying your name, but it was an obvious tribute, mm. right? Mm. Who knows? They should have brought you in. I'll be there. I was honestly pretty surprised the Saturday Night Live utilized that because Saturday Night Live is such a normie show that I feel like their audience is not the audience that has heard your song. This audience, I think a large percentage of them will see this interview and they're like, oh, fuck, he interviewed that guy. Okay, cool. No, everybody knew. Everybody sent it to me. Yeah, you're a fan base. My, but yeah, probably a lot of people watching SNL true. were like, what the fuck is this? I don't get this joke. Yeah, that's true. But it's all over TikTok. But now they need to have you on there to do a live performance. It'll happen. So how has your life changed as a result of this viral fame, though? The girls just be hollering at you? Not really. Really? Kinda. Not the ones you want? Just, no. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? So nothing too dramatic has changed since then? No, no. Not really. I seen you do a video with Wiz Khalifa. That's kind of dramatic, right? Oh, that's crazy. He hopped on the remix. You guys made an EDM song together? <laughs> and shit, so shit. How did that happen? You know, just happened. They hit me up. I was like, shh. They were like, shh. And then they hit up Wiz, and he was like, shh, shh, shh. You smoking weed with Wiz? No, I never met him. Oh, you guys filmed the video separately? And shit, so shit. Were you happy with how it came out, though, or were you not feeling the EDM vibes? Dude, it's all it's always vibes, as long as it's vibes. Right. Because if it's not, then it's not. You know? I seen it last night. I was kind of shocked. I'm going to be real. The song took a very different turn than I expected. We fucking TTFU. Who's the craziest person that's reached out, though, since you had this, this moment? I don't know. Do you I, have labels tapping in and stuff? No. No? For what? To sign you or to work on stuff together? I don't know. They don't. You don't feel like the labels are seeing the potential. They're usually pretty vulturous when it comes to any new artist. Um, I think they probably get it. You know, they get like, it. Like they probably like know that I probably won't sign. Right? I don't know. Why not? Everybody signs. Nearly. I can't. Why can't you sign? Because I'm uh, too free spirited. I don't, yeah, it's like sounds. It seems like it's too much bullshit. Like I don't like doing things, you know. Right, doing things. Yeah, pretty general like that. I don't care. I just like turn like turning TTFU and just hanging out with Lux and shit, watching uh, Powerpuff Girls. That's what you're watching. 
It's good. Have you seen the new shit? I've never seen it in general, to be honest. Wow. So it came out a little when I was a little bit older, I think. Also, mostly aimed at girls, I would think. Oh, uh, yeah. Although, I do have a daughter, so there's a chance that she might want to become a powder puff girl in the future, and I'll get extremely familiar. Let's see. You're going to get her name tattooed on your face? Nah. No, yeah. You don't like face tattoos, right? I'm kind of over it at this point. I'm not, dude. I'm freaking tweaking on them. Yeah? These are, are a lot of these recent? Yeah, they're all recent. I just got them all. All of them? Yeah. What, what prompted it? Just like, you know, fuck it. TTFU. Right. That's what made you put like eight lines in each eyebrow as well? Oh, yeah, dude. No, it was uh, Jackie Bieber, like, did my eyebrows, <clears throat> like, all badass in my hair. Who's that? This hairstylist, the uh, hair she dyes hair. She does like badass designs and shit. Okay. In the hair dye, like fire as fuck. Where did you say you get your fashion inspiration from? Women. Women. So that narrows it down to fifty percent of the earth. And shit, so shit. <laughs> How you get spikes in your uh, Jordans here? I never seen that. Can oh you, yeah, dude. That's yeah. that's some different shit. I never seen that before. Ain't no one in the world got this shoes. Got these shoes right here. I mean, I can kind of imagine that how it was done. You just take a spike and sort of like bolt it on there through the leather. Or... Yes. Everybody <laughs> thinks it's glue. I'm like, what? How? Glue? It would, no, I could, I could tell by the way it's like wagging back and forth. That it's got a little bit of suspension to it, right? Yeah, it's got it's got some little play. When I put, because I have I have them in all my shoes, and the Cortez is, if you like put them when you put them at the tip, like when you put or pretty much any shoe, if you put them like facing up like a little bit, they hit the ground when you walk when you step. Every step you take. Okay. It's so fucking steezy. Really? So who do you look to for inspiration fashion-wise? I'm being serious. Like, women. Oh, yeah. I already asked that question, right? You just gave me that super general answer. Well, because, the, like, I, I mean, I don't really only wear women's clothing. Lately, I've been wearing, like, everything else. But I get my clothes from, like, girls. But you're not wearing any women's clothes right now, right? No. Because, like... It's different. Like, I haven't hung out with any girls, so like, why they, not? Because they don't fuck with me. They I, don't. Nah. You not just around. Not out here. <laughs> you hmm? just DM more of them. That's too much work. <laughs> they should be tapping in. They do, but nah, it just never happens. I just get tomorrowed every day. Tomorrowed. Yeah. <laughs> but it's fucked That's up. That's real. Girls who always want to postpone it. They want to start texting you and then just talk for three weeks before they hang out with you boring boring um okay so what do, what do you got planned next music wise or whatever i think i'm gonna drop an album and then go on like a world tour or some shit no big deal yeah a world tour yeah have you toured within this nation yet no i haven't really done i've only done like a couple shows like one show right how are they they're badass. You love the feeling? Yeah, it's cool. You mosh at your own shows? Mm, yeah, no. I just like headbang. Mm. You should get on some like Gigi Allen shit and just like cut your own dick off on stage or something. Well, you know, dude. How? I don't want to come on. That's well, scary. They, they made a movie like that. That's maybe you just like cut it a little bit. No, but like, I seen Gigi Allen like shove a whole banana up his ass and then shit it out and throw it at the people in the crowd. That's fucking rowdy. Yeah. That's hot. So that's why when Lil Uzi's like, yeah, I want to be the Gigi Allen of hip-hop, I'm just like, whoa. I don't think you know what that entails. Mm. That's your kid? Yeah, that's Lux. She's two, and, she's two and a half years old. Damn. That's amazing. Congrats. It's like almost the same age as my kid. Really? I like how you're like holding down every photo so I can see the live photo. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. You got to see it. Because it, if you don't play it, it's not the same thing you have to actually because that's what i was like i was just thinking about her and then my mom or i think moon texted me those pictures and i was like fuck how did having a child change your life mm. well i mean i had a child you know that's fuck yeah life changer did it force you though to start taking things more serious no, I already had planned everything, like, 
to be taken serious like that when it like before, but I don't know, you know. Right. That shit's all shit. <laughs> there it is. Um, anything else that we should know? I don't know. What do you think? I mean, no, yeah, I think that's probably all right. What sunglasses are you wearing? Gucci. For real? Yeah. They're fire. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right. Scro. No shit. That was crazy. Scrotum. them. Fuck off. I mean, it's just. <laughs> no, yeah. It fuck. just came to mind. Yeah, they're, they're like, whenever I. Because they used to be my rap name. Young Scrotum? Scro- young Scrobot. <laughs> that was my old rap name. Like, Young Scrotum is a pretty cool name. I don't think anyone even knows that that's what you call a ball sack, really. No, literally everyone knows. Okay. <laughs> they made fun of me so, like, so much <laughs> with that. It was, it was fucking awesome. I feel like. If you were to go to an average rap show with a bunch of 18 year olds and you were to say, What's a scrotum? I feel like a lot of them wouldn't know. Now, a room full of like 30 to 40 year olds, I feel like most of them would know. But I don't think the kids are saying scrotum. But that's just a guess. I think the younger, like a younger generation, like the 20 people in their like <laughs> mid 20s, they, they know, right? They're not fucking retarded. Well, we should start an awareness campaign to let everybody know what to call balls just to embrace their balls i guess really yeah yeah <laughs> and shit and to, to call them scrotums really do you still ride bmx here and there i got this kink trail that i'm really trying to do before the end of the year let's do it it's a pussy ass kink trail but it counts let's go ride you're not down fool foo i'll How ride. hire your socks sock chick Pretty low, but but not low enough. Like what they're supposed the to be fuck? lower for these kind of shoes, I think. Oh shit. They're like supposed to be mids. You're just trying to be like a hash skater wearing your fucking socks up to your knees. What? I can't do that. Free <laughs> the not... calf. What really? I don't want my cankle being trapped by this big ass. I've I've tried wearing long ones. You don't socks. have cankles, do you really? Well, I mean, you know, fuck ankle, no. cankle, tomato, tomato. Oh shit. And oh, shit. I just I don't know. I don't know how people do it. Like, just, why would I want to have my sock all the way up to here? What do I want to keep my fucking calf warm? Yeah. Slightly, by like one degrees. I don't know. It's just cozy. Yeah. It's more cozier. It's like best case scenario. I keep mean, all the bad bitches wear high socks. Cozy calves. Yeah, I know. I love a girl in high socks. Fuck. It's so hot. I don't know why. What and is shit. that? It's like somebody, you know, like when, you're, when your Theo sees like a... Like a like a bad. What's bad your T.O. Like bitch. your girlfriend? I always forget. No, a Theo is is your uncle. Oh, you're right. The O is for guys, yeah, and the A is for yeah, the Theos. All the Theos, TX. all the Theos throwing ass in the club. My, the, my trans homies are my TX. Oh shit! I don't know if it's just a homie. That's kind of like a dude thing. That's fucking lit. Right? Would you you ever cross dress or would you? Dude, my first show, I had a fucking I had a skirt on and like. Yeah, I wear women's clothes. What the fuck? Right, you said that. What inspires you <laughs> to wear women's clothes? The women. Because, like, <laughs> they they tell me I look good in, like, something, and I'm like, okay, bet. Let's run it. So your, your style is kind of, like, geared towards whatever women are going to react to? Well, yeah, I mean, I, don't, I only really, like, surround myself with women. I mean, I say I have, the, the like, the homies and, like, the, the cousins and shit, but it's just really I just hang out with, like, a bunch of girls all the time, all day, every day all day, all night, all day, all night. Hmm. Yeah, that'll take its toll on you. All of a sudden, you're wearing a dress. You know, and shit. So shit. I mean, Young Thug wore a dress because he had the stick. Oh, word. Yeah. True. So. Same. That might be a good excuse if anybody ever gives you a hard time. No, it's like just... earlier. I had a huge gun in here. Oh, cool. <laughs> what was it? Oh no, I'm just saying that's what you could say if someone was like, "Why are you wearing a dress?" No, I'm just because I look good. So you had him charge your vape, but then you also have another vape on deck. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Shout out Stephen Briggs. Bro. You really committed to that thing? It's cola flavored. Yeah. It sounds disgusting as fuck. No, yeah. But it's bomb. I mean, I'll drink a cola, so I, I guess I understand. Yeah. And it's a no calorie version. Just probably would give you cancer. Really? I mean, in the long run, probably. Do you smoke cigarettes? No. Just weed. 
But there's tobacco in there, so it might as well be. All right. There's weed. There's tobacco and weed. Yeah. No. No, but you can combine it if you choose. What do they call those again? Spliffs or moles. <laughs> If you hit it out the bong, it's a mole. My ex-girlfriend used to say that. Moles. I was like, that's fucking weird. It makes it gross. She would hit moles? Yeah, out of a bong. Ugh. Weirdo. That's foul. That's some trailer park shit. I'm going to be really used to do it too, but. I miss her. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Am I doing it wrong? (laughs) Read, read Read my eyebrow banger. It's like S H H double H V double F. He hit that too. You kind of like change your mouth a lot when you go from the sh to the f. Yeah. It's a whole it's a whole language. We're gonna be in the 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 thesaurus in the dictionary and shit. Well, I do appreciate the ingenuity of like trying to come up with a new sound or whatever. Trying no doing. Right doing, yeah. That's what yeah. It's a whole, it's a whole movement. We have like a signature noise. We, me and my cousins, we have whole conversations in front of people, and they don't even know what the fuck we said. We do, because mm. it's a way of life. What about some like? Hell yeah, that shit's that shit's popping. That does sound cool, but I feel like automatically you're gonna get accused of like co-opting whoever the fuck's language that. I is. just started doing that because, yeah, because I, if she gives good head, we say. Yeah, Lashadi had that. Yeah, but it was like a different flavor. I don't um, know. There's like some tribe or some shit, and they don't fuck with other people doing it. I don't think. Yeah, no. See, that's why you don't you don't want to get knocked off the map for using <laughs> someone else's shit. No biting. Yeah, please. But realistically, we never even been there, so we should probably just rock out. It sounds fun. We could probably learn it. They probably if we like went through the shit with them. Oh yeah. You just travel the world just finding new dialects. Yeah. Gang language. Gangland. Do you think the sh is going to run out or is it forever? Ew, gross. Yes. It's forever. Forever. Mm hmm. Makes sense. Mm, yeah. Our Theos, Theos, Theos have been doing it. And our our theos, uncles, theos. uncles, uncles. Shit. Got it. And shit. So shit. Right. You already know and shit. Your fave ex boyfriend. Hot boyfriend, baby. No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, Plat, Patreon, etc. Leave a comment. Keep a lament. Mm, say that shit. That shit. <laughs>